Hello everybody, John here and on to the garage today I've got a short little video for you nothing specific really, just sharing um, painting up my garage um, we've moved to the stage now where there's very little left in it but I've still got to move out started to install a few things like you've seen the toolbox on a previous video and I just thought I'd share this little clip of the garage getting sorted out with a bit of fresh paint. Here's some rare footage of me without my specs on. As you can see, I cannot see a thing. Facial expression says it all. Um, I've only took them off because I'm about to do some spray painting and I value them a little bit too much for that. Um, whilst I'm wandering around trying to find a really good place to sit the camera, um, the walls that are already painted, I must have painted maybe ooh, three years ago. And I did them with a paintbrush. And the bricks in my garage are really, really porous, grainy items that take the paint really quickly and draw it away. And it took forever to do those walls. So this time I thought, right, we're gonna try some indifferent. So I've got the compressor running and I've hooked up my spray gun and I've filled it up with masonry paint so that's basically white emulsion paint with um, sand I'm guessing in it's textured masonry paint that you use on the outside of your house and all I've done is I've diluted it about 50-50 uh, with a bit of tap water mixed it up and it's still relatively heavy uh, that consistency but it means it doesn't give an awful lot of overspray so pretty good for this application it doesn't cover particularly well you can see the contrast between the wall I painted with a brush years ago and what I've just done but it's going on reasonably quickly and it's going on reasonably accurately what I found is that you needed about three coats to get a reasonable coverage. The end result is not as complete after three coats as the hand brush stuff, but I managed to do it in the space of real time about 45 minutes, and um, that more than compensates. And I don't need it to be perfect, I just need it to be a nice bright white environment so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So this might be worth a try for a few of you at home if you want to whiten up your garage. <laughs> 